at the end of the day, uh, all these insights being knowledge from knowledge-driven types of technologies or data-driven types of technologies across health and social and behavioral is for the use of, uh, to use and impact the health of a given person. So improve their outcomes, reduce the cost of the overall healthcare system and therefore uh, by, by uh, uh, also the, the, the health cost of healthcare to this particular person and, and also empowering these patients, right? So now you as an, uh, someone as an empowered consumer, more informed consumer, equipped with different types of analytics and applications to better understand their condition, to, proact to proactively uh, uh, care about the, of, of themselves and, and, and be uh, uh, more proactive with respect to wellness management types of scenarios rather than becoming a sick patient. Uh, this, at the end of the day, will will help the consumer and the patients uh, to to stay well and and uh, and not deal with uh, serious health healthcare health type of issues. This is not just healthcare; it's, it's health and social and behavioral and wellness. At some future point, all these data need to come together, and that becomes a tremendous opportunity for generation of insights that can then provide what I refer to as outcomes-oriented human services. is not just healthcare services, but it's a, it's a wider range and broader range of a type of services that could be provided to someone. But I think that wealth and that combination of those data sets and different domains will provide bigger opportunities for helping the patient at the end of the day.